Yeah, 2208. You see the name plate? It says 12208. Yes, sir. Four. Now Five. I can see. Okay. If you look at this, you see how each of them is on a different bus bar. Correct. Yes, sir. And that's the way it's going to do when you bolt them in. Each one, one, two, three. One, two, one, two three. three. One, two, three. Okay. See, you could even have a single in here and you might be on two, three, four, but you're still going to be on all three. It's got it where you can't get on two legs. Okay. Okay. You got me. Now these are the bolt-on breakers, right? These are the bolt-on breakers. It's right. the industrial. Okay. So up, let's just say it's nothing on that one. So let's come down at the bottom. You got a blue, a blue, red, and a yellow right there. Okay. At the color cut. Uh, but it's caught. It is crossing three legs, so that's gonna give you mm -hmm. two o eight. Okay. Oh, check me. Okay. That's all we. Hold that for me. All right. We're just gonna get on two legs here. First two legs. It's probably gonna be two forty. Uh, two thirteen. Mm -hmm. You see? So, that, so that's the same as two o eight. That'll give you a two o eight. And let's see what's on two and three. Okay. Same thing. Two twelve. And then one and three. Okay. Two 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 uh fourteen. Okay. Okay. You so is it's that gonna vary a little bit, but it's really two. So th that'll give you. With two legs, that'll give you 208 right there for your air conditioning. But if you need it for a 240 water heater, you can use it the same. Yeah. Exactly. Now, would an amperage go up because of that? The or amperage will go up a little. Not but, it, but not enough to, not not enough to enough kill it. Not enough to hurt anything. Okay. No. But see, there's no way that you can put these breakers in. You could take this one out. Yep. You see how that one's got a single? Yes. That's a good example right there. Okay. It, it's a three-phase breaker, but yet it, it ain't... Four, five, six, one, two, three, You're seven, still eight, picking nine. up all three phases. See, they dropped it down one, but they still picking up all three phases. So, for instance, that, that, that one right there, you could put that, and let's say I need a light bulb right here, just that a regular light bulb. That would be 120. That would be 120. You put a, a single pole breaker. Because I'm going from the With one. With a three phase panel, you could put single pole breakers, three foot pole breakers, or. So, when you're picking up all. See, here's a double pole right there. Okay. So, when you're picking up they, all they three. They ain't nothing on it, but there's a double pole there. So, when you pick up all three. What what kind of voltage are you picking up right there? You just picking you just picking up two oh eight between them is all. It's not the voltage is not going got not going to be any higher. It's just three it's three hot wires instead of two. You got me. Okay. So yeah, don't let it confuse you with the three legs. You still it's still going to be two oh eight three phase. Right, what one. that means is you're getting two hundred eight between them. To two hot legs. Okay, okay. And 120 from hot to neutral. Okay? All right, let me see. Uh, I don't know what I run here. Where is that going? Huh. That red one? Looks like it's tied, it's tied to that black hole. And it's loose. Now, what makes that not arc? By being loose, or it may not even be on, huh? It ain't, it ain't on. I, I think it's tight. It's just moving on there. And you have extra space down here. But see, whatever this is, see what we got there. Okay, right here you got 212 once again. Okay. okay. And look, I go from one hot to the neutral. What I got? You have two, two, 212. Oh, that was a hot wire. Hold on. What are the neutrals? Or the grounds? This ain't got no neutral in it. It's going, it's going coming up here. This, Might be at the top now. This was done a long time ago, and this is it. They didn't put no no neutral. Now now you can't wire a panel without a neutral. Okay. All right. What's that? That is 120. What's that? They're going to be the same. Uh, 120. 120 again. And 120. And now I can go anywhere. But just one to ground should be right 120. Okay. So now if you think this is more so because it's the first disconnect? They don't have a neutral, or that's just how they did it a long time ago. That's where they did it with three phase stuff. They just all, right. all you need is is the hot center ground. You don't really need a neutral. But now the equipment that they making, they make you run a neutral nowadays. Now it's grandfathered in. Okay. They won't make you fix it because it's fine. But nowadays they will make you run a neutral in this panel as well, coming out of the main. Now that's the main disconnect. That's a double lug there. Yeah. But this one here at the top, that that's one as well. That's a double lug for the. Looks like they did run a neutral. Okay, they did run a neutral. Which, which one? That's the neutral. That's why you're getting that. Yeah, one. that's the neutral. They did run a neutral. All right, now, if you didn't have But a neutral, as you noticed, hooking up all the equipment, 
they didn't run no neutrals. You see that? Oh, right, right. They had a neutral to the panel. But, but the, the neutral was didn't. to the panel, so it's there if you need it. Got it. So that was, that was even though it wasn't cold, but then that was, that was a smart thing to do. Right. So he did run the neutral. Enough. These are your three hots. Bim, bim, bim. And that will hurt you. Oh. <laughs> now, are these the different disconnects here? The uh, Right right here are these? This is to another. This is to that bus bar out right there up top. That's why it's such a big breaker. Okay. Come out and show, okay. I'll show you. See that bus bar, the, the this equipment's coming out of them two bus bars. Okay, okay. It it, it runs through that two inch conduit and then it's hooking up three buses on that, uh, three phases to drop to all this equipment. Okay, so say let's just take any of those three. That right there is probably going to have how much uh, voltage in that that that, that uh, green machine that there. Green thing is 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 it's, uh, it's two oh eight three phase. Okay, so that means that you could have hooked up to. Uh, a double pole or a three pole? No, you, gotta, you gotta hook up a three pole for it because it's three phase equipment. Three phase equipment, yeah. okay, gotcha. You got to have three hot wires. Gotcha, okay. That's three phase. That's All the, this big stuff is three, three phase. phase. That planer is three phase. So when you come here, all you gotta do is look here and see what one it is. All right, let's say the... One of us for light panel, one of us for sewage That's a sub panel. Three-phase grinder, there you grind That's a three-phase grinder right three there. three-phase drill. And yeah. And that's more, I say, that's more efficient because you got, like you say, three hands turning it, that wheel, if exactly. you want to turn it like that, okay. You got three instead of two. And all of this is three-phase stuff. So, see, this is your main panel here. Okay, that's a sub. This is your sub panel for the lighting. All right. Now, because it, I guess nowadays... You would have to have that uh, bun and jumper on the on the on the on the uh, the nut. It's now bonded they, here, right? But it's not supposed to be here. It's not supposed to be. Yeah, in this panel. See, this panel is being fed. No, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Daly. I'm talking about the panel. The panel itself. See, is this panel right here. This is this panel. Got it. They're going it, This is also a three phase panel. Okay. Uh, see, it's three phase four wire. But that nut on the other. It's just a smaller panel, and that they, they just using it for that that lighting and that plug. But that that bun and bushing over there, does it nowadays? Do you have to have a? Uh, Not if it's metal, you don't have to. Just have a double lock. This on is both the sides. only place that the neutral is supposed to be grounded to the uh, bonded yeah. to the ground. All right. Now, not that, but but the actual the actual uh, panel board, the actual cabinet. Does that nowadays? Do you have to have that bud that uh? The bun and bushing on the on the um not not particularly because you're gonna run a separate ground. Got it. Okay. To here. Okay. Okay. All it's gonna do is it, and it's gonna be grounded. It's gonna be grounded through that ground. Yeah. Wire. Because it's that. But then once again, they will they'll be separated over there. It's just the that certain corner. places make you do that. Certain just, jurisdictions. Just to make sure that, okay. that all the equipment is bonded together. Okay. So it's but not it's not. But necessary. if you got a metal bushing with a metal lock nut and you get it tight, uh, it, it, because it's, it's get it's getting in there even if it's got paint on, it's getting in it's that getting thing. It's getting its ground. Yeah. Okay. But right. like I said here. It's grounded to the bonded to the neutral it means they go together. But in this one, it should be a separate neutral and a separate ground. Okay, so that's gonna be let's say for example that would be two hundred eight volts to that ground over there. Mm. Gotcha. That ground would be two hundred eight volts. This here, this, this is two. Let's just say it may go to a water heater, mm -hmm. if it, or whatever. It can go to an air conditioner, or it can go to two eight air condition or a two forty mm -hmm. water heater. A 240 relay and a 240 is usually right. around 220. 220. Yeah. So even they, even though they might measure 243 or whatever in between, that ain't that ain't no big deal. No big the deal amp's not gonna kill it. Okay. No big deal at all. The only difference, the only what what the only way that would make a distance, uh -huh. if you got one of these hot wires that's got a stinger and you wouldn't want to got put it, it and that's that, the old school. You wouldn't put it on a low voltage breaker. So if it had a stinger, let's just say that the B phase here. So the B phase is a stinger. You make sure you hook it to the B uh, to the right one in the quote. Which means that blank one right there would be a good one because that would be an A. That'd be an A. All right. Now, if that if I if for some reason you you can't do this, but if you were to run a one twenty out there to that grinder, even if it'll be three phase, mm -hmm. would the amps come up so much that it blow it up, or it just would be so low that it won't work? No, but it it would have to be a it had to be a single phase, uh, one hundred twenty volt 
grinder though. No, I'm saying like like say if you were some fake let's say if you hooked up maybe with a uh, 170 volts. Would the amp would the amperage come up so high that it's going to blow it up, or it just won't work because there's not enough volts to push the amps in? Oh, there? it's going it's going it's going to work, but it's, it's going to be real it's too high voltage. It can cause problems later on, or too low voltage. Yeah, it, it will probably run huh. a while, but it's going to wind up because the amps is going to really start to get to it. Yeah, that's what it wasn't designed. Like okay, if 